So I always wanted one of these because I do have um, a proper jet wash, can do kind of like, you know, high bar pressure wash, but it's so clumsy and um, I want to use it to clean my solar panel up on this roof. There's no way I'm going to drag garden hose, the power supply and the actual machine onto the roof. And then when you move around, you need to drag the machine around. So I'm not going to do it on my flat roof. And this one, I got it from Amazon for $89.99. I'm not sure how good it is, but I always let you guys Decide. Here they have a Royal Lotic. So this is the brand, but saying that this is probably a rebrand from one of the many, many Chinese ones available on the market. Inside the box, that's all we have. I already took the, the host out. So this is kind of the plastic host. So it comes with kind of a foam lens bottle, a filter. Very useful because this one, use, um, you might not use filter water from your main supply. You might want to use a bucket or you know, other source of water. So if you have like rain collected water, have leaves or other organic stuff in there, you do need a filter which comes with like a fine mesh filter like this. Uh, a nozzle to change the nozzle pattern. Some connector that I have not seen this before anyway and then you got your power brake which is like a free pin this is to use to charge the lithium battery so that it will operate without having to plug into your mains a uh, standard hose connector a 24 volt battery lithium fine battery the gun itself it does have a bit of weight to it because of the motor inside but this is without battery And then a lens, which is a relatively short lens, I have to say. Lens, lens, tube, nozzle. Anyway, that's, and that's it. It's a very simple box. So for, what is that? $89.99, you don't get a lot of stuff, but hopefully it works. And even the information leaflet is just like nine pictures and that's it, literally. And uh, definitely made in China. So this one is like a, a, a re reducer. Very simple. Tip, go into that nozzle. Got a bit of flaring on it. And then you close this. Hand tight, don't over tight plastic. I mean, it might leak a little bit or drop or two, but this is not critical. So if you use a kind of a wrench, it either will wall out the plastic or it will break. Once you've done that, that goes up the click. That's it. So now the gun is connected to hose. It's this tap thing with a screw. Now this one here, you might want to use some sealant if you are to do it properly, but or tape to make sure it's watertight. But for now, I'm just going to tighten it. Again, I don't want to over tighten it. I just want to be tight enough. Now this side is a pressure side, so it does take a bit more pressure. So that's the tip of the gun. Ah, okay, so that's, that's it. This is not how I imagine it at all. Okay, so now that is locked in. Ooh, right, so it is working. I will never run this kind of device without pumping water in it. I think they're just not very good to run without water. It might be okay, but I'm not going to destroy it. Um, this side of the tube, put in the filter. Just like that, and that one dips in the water. Um, I'm going to charge up the battery before I will use it, because at the moment I have nowhere to find out what the battery life is in there. But that's what you get for this type of uh, cheap battery operated pressure washer. See you in a bit. Okay, so I think the battery is fully charged because the red LED light become green. Um, unfortunately, there is no other battery indicator to tell you what's the battery state of charge. So we just go to unplug it, put it into the machine and we're going to go outside and do some product testing. Ah, 
I don't even know if I'm in the frame or not, but one of the reasons why I got um, this thing is because I want to clean my uh, solar panel on my um, flat roof here. So I'm now on top of my roof. There's no way I can bring a lot of equipment up here all the time. So I got myself a jug of water, the gun, which is fully charged. I set it to a nozzle and this filter thing go into the jug. I try not to get my uh, camera wet, so I'm going to spray on this side, but there we go. And just now I kind of pointed here, silly pointed on my hand, actually it hurts like hell. So I know this is strong, but is it strong enough to get that bird poo off the thing without scrubbing? Let's have a look. So yep, that's gone. So this is actually working better than I expected. I mean, it's a bit noisy, but my only complaint is the lens is a bit short. Now only if I have a way to measure how strong this thing is, that would be fantastic, but unfortunately no. You just have to go with my unscientific test. So that one is a, a kind of a jet. So this one have a wider beam. So the spray pattern is different from every nozzle. They're all the same to me, to be honest. I think I will go with just the jet for cleaning my solar panels. And this is using up the water really, really quickly because it's like I just did one panel and half of my bucket of water is gone already. So if I do a close up, so you see those are the dirt that I try to get rid of. I can just use a brush, but with the jet wash, it should be a lot quicker. Okay, so that one is clean and that one is not. So I've got this much to do, but hopefully with this, it will be a lot quicker. <laughs> this is one of the time that you forgot to press record. So those are the one which is not clean. And I just basically, I just spent the last five minutes talking to myself and cleaning. And I wrote myself a, a nice initial here with my name on, but I'm gonna do it again. So. Some of the tiles over there is not clean yet, so I'm just going to show you what this one can do. So let's say if I want to clean that particular tile over there. Alright, so that one is clean, that one is clean, that one is clean, that one is clean, that is not clean. Yeah, so um, if I'm to do the whole patio, I will still use my uh, plug-in jet wash because it's just a lot stronger. This one will do the job, but it might take a bit of time. And besides, you use water like nobody business. But when I need to climb to the roof and clean my uh, solar panels, not this one, but the one on top, Definitely, this will be amazing. That's all I have time for you today. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye.